My nailing skills aren't that sharp, y'all. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. This is Beauty with the Hammer. And today, I have a great DIY for you guys. I am going to be making a chicknick table. Yes, you heard that right. These are my chickens. This is Helen, my favorite chicken right here. And they absolutely love these mealworms. And so I was actually tagged in this post right over here by four different people on Facebook. And so I look, took a look at that. And the first thing I said was, I can make that. I can totally make that. And so today I'm gonna be trying to make this chicknick table for my girls so that they have a nice little table to eat their snacks from for their treats. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right guys, so you're gonna need a couple of things to get started. You're gonna need a measuring tape, a marking pencil. Um, you're gonna need a square to get those straight lines. We ain't got no time for no crooked lines today. Some one and a half inch finishing nails and a saw. Today I'm gonna go ahead and start off with building the top of the chicken table. So I have this scrap piece of one by four. It's already been cut from other projects and so it's at 20 inches long and so I think I'm gonna just go ahead and use that to do the top of the chicken table. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another one by four and measure out 20 inches and cut that, cut this board. Make sure that you that you have a, a square to make that line nice and straight. And then after you do that, you always want to measure twice. Measure twice, cut once. All right, so now that I've measured out both of my boards at 20 inches, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one up and I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, so I have my two boards, my one by four is at 20 inches. Now I'm gonna take a one by three, which is gonna begin to border the sides, the long side of the chicknick table. And I'm gonna be cutting two at 20 inches. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out. I am so excited, you guys. Like, my girls are going to absolutely love this little chicknick table for their treats. They love these worms, I'm telling you. I will, like, literally, like, just sound the bag wherever they are. They drop whatever they're doing and they come for those worms. So, I'm so happy to finally be able to have a little table that I can put these little treats for them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these boards and I'll be right back. All right, so I've cut my two 20 inch one by threes. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create, I'm gonna be cutting the these shorter sides of the table. So taking another one by three, I'm gonna be measuring out what our length is gonna be here. And looks like about eight and a half inches. So I'm gonna be cutting two eight and a half inch boards um, so that we can line the top of the table. All right guys, so I've sanded all the pieces down. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and nail all of the side pieces onto the table and line up your two uh, 20 inch one by, one by fours on top of each other. Line up the side piece, the measurement one and an eighth. And so taking this, the, the measurement one and an eighth, I made markings along this side of the board um, so that I would know where to nail the finishing nails, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and start by um, putting all the nails, not all the way through, but at least getting them started on the little mark that I have right here. That way when I begin to hammer them down on these boards, it'll be a much easier. So, so now that those are done, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this to the side, putting my board, matching it up here, making sure it's all nice and lined up. Now there's probably another way to do this, but y'all, I'm a beginner. Beginner at DIY and woodworking, so I'm just doing my best here. And there you have it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same process on the other side. This is coming along just great. So what I've already done and hammered the top side piece. First you wanna make sure that you measure out on the side where you're gonna need to be putting your nails, just like we did with the side part. So you wanna measure to make sure you have a nail on, the, on each of these sides. And then you wanna make sure that you get at least two nails um, on each of these boards. So the first measurement to be able to hit the nail right on the side is gonna be 3 8 So you're gonna measure out at 3 8 at one and a half and three and a half. And you're gonna do that from starting from this side 
towards the middle from the other end to the middle. And then you wanna make sure that each nail is gonna be hitting just at the, at the right spot and that measurement is one and a quarter. So where you made those markings. So I wanted to show you guys up close my markings here. The little X's are where my nails are gonna be going in. So again, one of the things that I found easiest to do um, is to go ahead and pre-nail everything. Um, not all the way, of course. And that's how it's done, y'all. Woo, y'all impressed with my skills. I know you guys are. That's why y'all be watching me every week. All right, guys, so here is the top of my chicknick table where I'm gonna be able to place all the little treats. We are halfway through, let's continue. All right, guys, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be working on the four legs that are gonna come off to support the top of the table. So I'm gonna go at nine inches. We're gonna measure out another one by three um, at nine inches. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. This is throwing me a curveball, but I think we have it figured out. So I have never done a cut uh, for a table that goes kind of slanted, but we did the calculations. We threw some numbers around. We we made it work, okay? You're gonna need to pay it, like real close attention because it can get kind of confusing. But basically what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your measuring tape here, measure on one end, and you're gonna measure, make a little mark at half an inch. And then you're gonna take your square and you're gonna take the measurement where the half inch is, measure it up to the corner, to the other corner, and you're gonna draw a line, okay? Where that line is, that's where you're gonna cut. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. If you're going from this corner down to this side, you're gonna do the exact opposite on the other end, okay? That's just the way it's gonna line up um, when we put it up uh, onto the sides of the table. So if we went from this corner down to this side, then we're gonna start from this corner and going up this side, taking our measuring tape to measure half an inch here. And then taking the saw, you're gonna make those cuts and you're gonna repeat it on each of the four legs, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and say a little prayer, hope this works. All right, you guys have already nailed two of the little legs and look how cute it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and nail the other two sides in. And so don't forget, this is a very important critical part. You don't wanna make, you don't wanna like do all this hard work and make put the legs all wrong, okay? That's something I would do, but you're not me. So make sure that they are pointing out like a V Okay, and so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our nails, our finishing nails, and hammer um, two nails per each leg. Ah, look at this, this looks so good already, y'all. Oh, look how cute. Now I just need to add the little seats for them, and my chignic table is almost complete. All right, guys, we are almost done with this simple project <laughs> yeah right there is nothing simple about ever working with wood if that's one thing i've learned okay so these are actually going to be the support beams that are going to be running along the side of the little chicken table these are going to be holding up the actual seats where hopefully my little chickens will be able to perch on top of them. So the actual seat is gonna be measuring 20 inches, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this out. You're gonna need two of the 20 inch one by, one by threes on the board. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up and then you guys, we are almost done. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up and then we'll put it all together and I am going to show you guys some really awesome chickens. Okay, all right you guys, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. So, from the bottom of the leg, two inches, make a line, and then you're gonna measure from the inside of the first leg here to the outside of this wood here. You want it to be five and seven eighths. So go ahead and nail these babies in. I'm gonna need to wing two nails, one on top, one on the bottom in the middle. Okay guys, we're almost done. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take your 20 inch seats, your one by threes, 
And we're gonna nail them on top of this support beam, just like that. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it here. I'm not gonna really, I mean, this looks pretty even. That's how you know you're at the end of a project when you're just gauging it but with your eyes. I am done! Oh my gosh, this project feels like it's taken forever. If you guys haven't seen my very first video, when I attempted to make a, a living room table. No experience whatsoever doing any kind of wood and I just w like jumped into the e deep end with woodworking and it took me like forever to finish that. But if you want to see my very first YouTube video on woodworking, I'm gonna link that video right up here so don't forget to watch that. Um, but we are done, you guys. Look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now comes the fun part. I am going to um, put some treats on here for my girls um, and I want to see their reaction to this so come along all right you guys it looks like the chicknick table was a hit my girls are loving this little treat table all right you guys thank you so much for watching my video on my first time making a chicknick table yes I know I went there but y'all tagged me and I went there. I took the challenge. And so um, just wanted to thank you guys for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I do post new videos every Thursday. So don't forget to keep coming back. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, you guys, from Helen and all the girls. Bye. Till next time.